Howdy folks, for today's video we are going to do just, this one's going to be a, another quick short video. This is a VR to 243 Outdoors. He recently released a video, it was actually today, but I don't know if, if this video that I'm doing will be released today. But, he released a video and talking about some of his upcoming projects and uh, I was pretty excited about one of them. He's, he was talking about a 45 Colt that he was uh, receiving and I asked him a few more details. It turns out he's he got a Rossi 92, a 20 inch barrel and 45 Colt. And so I just thought that I would do just a quick VR video uh, for him, but then, you know, there's probably other stuff that other people can learn from it. But I was going to say, if you're going to a store and you're looking at Rossi 92s, there's a couple different things that you should pay attention to, right? So I have, I really love my Rossi 92s. I have five of them and they're in 357 mag, 44 mag, 45 Colt. And I, some of them I've had for a long time and some of them, well, I've actually had most of them for at least, at least uh, three years or so. So anyways, I've had them for a while. What I've noticed is uh, when I go to Gunny's, the local shop that carries the coolest guns here in Utah County, they, they always get the Rossi 92s in and I always like to look at them and see how they've progressed. The old 92s, the earlier ones, the Rossi 92s, they used to have a couple of different issues. Uh, a lot of it was maybe like fit and finish as well as <laughs> just a, a couple things with um, quality control. And you know, being the, the, the fact that they used to cost about like 400 bucks or 450 or so, uh, they were like half the cost of like a, a Browning or a Winchester. And so that made it attractive. And I know a lot of people used these uh, Rossi 92s for cowboy action shooting because you could slick them up and there's videos on how to do that and stuff. But uh, real quick, when uh, a couple tips, if you're going to the store to look at a Rossi 92, just look over the whole thing, look at where the wood mates up with the metal and you know, uh, make sure there's not any excessive gaps or if there are, you know, just make sure that you're you're cool with that. The mine are my Rossi 92s. I use them a lot and I don't treat them like they're a high gloss, high end gun that you don't want to get scratched or something. These, I, have, I put them in the back of my truck when I'm not shooting them. And so some of the wood gets a little bit scratched and dinged and you know, maybe a few scratches on the metal. I try to take care of these guns, but they are shooters in my opinion. And so I shoot them a lot. And uh, anyways, so I don't, I don't treat them extra softly like I used to do with my brass receiver Henry, for example, the Henry big boy. And I would always feel bad taking that out and like, you know, worry about scratches and, you know, so shiny and beautiful. And anyways, they don't have like, you know, crazy nice wood, like a lot of the Henry's that I've seen, but it's, you know, it works, right? So, uh, one of the first things I, I like to do, uh, so you just do a once over with the eyes, look for, uh, surfaces that aren't mating up properly with the wood. And then I, I like to work the action, you know, and see how stiff it is or how good it is. Uh, the other thing I like to do is uh, sometimes, at least in, I, I found several of them like this, the dovetail and the front sight were, kind, the front sight was kind of installed crappy, if that makes sense, so that the sight wasn't pushed all the way down before getting pushed into the dovetail and it just kind of carved a nice groove in the site as it was you know and there was a there was a uh, noticeable gap in the you could see right through uh, the mating surface of the barrel and the the front sight so i always check the sights there sometimes <laughs> Uh, so try and push on that front say with just with your finger, not like excessively, but I've, I've been able in the past on some of the earlier ones with the bad quality control, push on that site and have it move. And I, and obviously you can fix that, but if you have a choice of getting one that you 
have to fix and one that you don't have to fix, then most people prefer to get the one that you don't have to fix. But that is, is one thing I always check is the front sight and, you know, make sure that that, uh, you know, make sure it's centered good and it, it's not movable. There's no gaps. The other thing I like to do is, and I, I, <laughs> I like to replace the, the rear sight with the Skinner peep sight. I do this on all my Rossies. I think I have done it already on all my Rossies. But uh, yeah, so one of the cool things you can do is to check to see if your barrel is drilled and tapped for an optics rail, then all you gotta do is lift up the lift up the rear sight and then look to under the sight to see if you can see the holes that are drilled and tapped in, in the barrel for that, you know, uh, for mounting an optics rail or something. So some of them are drilled and tapped and some of them are not. And so all of the ones that I have had have been drilled and tapped except the one I actually wanted to be drilled and tapped. That one is is this 45 Colt. <laughs> this one was not drilled and tapped. It's it was the the Rossi Ranch hand, and as you can see, it does have a full on stock, so it is a legal registered SBR, right? So. Uh, do not do not buy one of the little ranch hands and then throw a, a regular rifle stock on without doing the the tax stamp first, or else you can get in trouble for that. So, if you are wanting to mount optics, then one thing you can do is you know, like I said, check for those holes, make sure that the barrel is drilled and tapped, and NOE makes this really nice optics rail that is. It is machined with the round, the rounded edge and the taper for the barrel. So something that a lot of the aftermarket or even factory optics mounts for these Rossi 92s, they don't have. So the, the NOE one is actually, it's, it's a step above everything else that I've seen for the, for the Rossi's. Uh, but know that if you do put a, an optics rail on here, even with a low mount, then you will need a some type of a cheek riser on the stock because otherwise you're going to do like a, a little chin weld uh, when you're when you're looking looking through it. And uh, so this one was just like a little Kydex one that uh, I had Jason at Consumer Solutions make for me, you know, just for this weird little project but uh the other thing too the rossi 92s i love them and <laughs> oh i should probably show like you know how I, I mentioned that some of them have okay wood and some uh actually look better this one right here has some some cool uh patterns on the wood you know most i don't know i don't know if people care about that or not but it's for me i if I'll look at it and if they have like a nice pretty pattern then I will take that one over the one that has a more plain pattern like like that one you know kind of plain Jane vanilla but yeah anyway so so uh, um, Josh at uh, 243 Outdoors I hope you totally absolutely love your Rossi 92 and 45 Colt I love uh, mine, all of mine. In fact, uh, you know, I talked about it in a, in a video years ago, but this 16 inch barreled one, this was like, it was like everybody's favorite gun. Like my wife even like loves shooting this gun more than anything else. And for one of our anniversaries, back in the day, I told her I was going to buy her a gun for the anniversary and asked her, which one do you want? What, you know, what kind of gun do you want? And she says, I want yours. I said, well, you can't have mine, but I can, I can look and see if I can get one and configure it just like this with the Skinner rear peep sight and, you know, just a little, um, leather wrap type thing right there. And, you know, 
And and then I, I slicked them, the actions up a little bit, polished off uh, some of the rough edges, and so these things run awesome. So I ended up finding uh, a used one at Gunny's that was blued in the exact same configuration of, you know, just 16 inch barrel. And I ended up picking it up and doing the same stuff, put the, the Skinner peep sight on there. And, and uh, anyways, love this gun. She loves this gun. I love that gun. I like the stainless a little better because it's shiny. And I also like it because it's it kind of cleans and polishes up a little bit easier and better. But one of my favorite things to do, and I'll probably show a little video clip, is we like to take those identical 45 Colt lever guns and do duels on the dueling tree, and it is just so much fun. All right, three, two, one. Damn! Taco wins. Uh, you taco. hit that one on taco. Taco. Again with the taco. We also have done those duels on, we've done them on the double spinner target I got from Buckeye Targets. And that is actually fun too because you got to try and uh, get the the spinner to spin before the other guy does. And so the, the whoever can, t and it's timing, right? You can't just go bang, 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 like on a dueling tree. You have to go bam, bam, and then bam, you know, go up and down and, and hit a moving swinging target and time it with the swing of the, the target. Yeah. On your marks, get set, go. Greg's got the timing. Mike got it. That was got done. It. That's a lot faster than those little farts. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> these hit. Anyways, so many fun things you could do with the the 45 Colt, and these 92s are, it's you know it's it's a stronger action than some of the older actions, and you know using modern metallurgy and stuff, it's they're they can they can handle pretty decent loads, and especially you know with the 45 Colt, you can. You can load them up with, you know, heavy bullets and, and you can get them to be, you can shoot stuff, you know, about 44 mag load, uh, power, uh, loads. So, right, you know, be careful when you do it, you know, disclaimer, but yeah, I've, I've shot, uh, 45 Colt loads that are, you know, on par with my 44 mag loads. So. Anyways, I hope this video is helpful to uh, any of those out there who are looking for, uh, you know, a lever gun that's a little bit cheaper and that are still awesome and looking at those Rossi 92s and uh, Josh, I, I hope the best for your, your 45 Colt, nice uh, stainless 20 inch barrel lever gun and uh, let me know how it goes. I'm do some videos when you get it and, and hopefully everything looks good when you get it. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to talk to me or anyone else. So, okay. Until next time, stay safe, have fun. Catch you later. That's the secret. Don't shoulder it. It says go. Okay, make sure your safeties are off. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go. Whoa! You're gonna run out of ammo. Oh, <laughs> oh you guys both failed. <laughs> <laughs>